Hello guys, Ilya Marchenko here and welcome to my channel. You know, during these past years, I've mastered the skill to create amazing comebacks. As you see, I've won many matches from set and breakdown and some from completely dead situations, including the most recent one, 6-1-5-2, saving too much points against Mikhnev in my Extra Liga adventure. More about that event you can find out in my other video, it's gonna be somewhere there. So let's talk about those comebacks today. But before we start, this video is brought to you by Top Court. Top Court is a great platform with awesome content from top professional tennis players just like me. Unfortunately, they are not using me as their main star yet, but I'm pretty sure sooner or later they will realize their mistake. And for the time being, if you subscribe through my affiliate link below, I'm gonna get a share and this will help this channel a lot. 14 days of trial included free of charge. So go and check it out, but let's get back to the topic. And I have 8 tips for you on how to create your first amazing comeback. Slow start. Yes, you need to start slow. Few unforced errors will help quite a lot. The more you miss, the better. Hello. Remember, to prepare a comeback, you need to start losing. And you better do it straight from the beginning. There is another way you can wait for a match when your opponent hits everything in and doesn't give you a chance. But I prefer the first option. Acting skills. So if you've done everything right with that slow start and now your opponent is comfortably leading, it's time for your acting skills. There are a couple of options here. You can start throwing racket, yell and show everyone that you are very very irritated Or you can show apathy, complete lack of interest on what is going on on court. Yeah. The third option, and it's my favorite one, is fake injury. Show everyone that you're in terrible pain, barely standing on your feet, start limping, or even better, call a physio on court. I prefer to switch and combine those techniques to see what works best. Faith. All joke, still funny. You need faith. But another one. Faith in yourself. You need to believe you actually can win this match, no matter what and how many misses you've done. So keep looking for solutions. All that boring stuff. Fighting spirit and blah blah blah. Turning spot. If you use your skills right, now your opponent is completely sure he got this. Let's go, Felix, you got this. He honestly probably does. <laughs> there is no chance the win is going to slip out of his hands. He's very, very loose, losing focus, and his game level slightly drops. For some, it can actually work other way around. They start to feel confident and play even better. In this case, bad luck. But that's not the one we are talking about right now. So he's relaxed, going for shots he was not going before and doing a couple of misses on top of that. That's our chance, that's our turning spot. You need to start little by little, point by point, reducing the gap. But do it carefully, no bamos or anything like that. Continue your fake injury or whatever you are doing. He doesn't have to realize that you are still planning to win this match. Fist pump. Yes, when you are close enough, it's time. All those angry looks, all those come on to his face. Remember, don't use it too early. But when you do, go full. Use everything you can. Use public if there is any. Because if you've done everything right, they are on your side right now. You need to put a shock on him. And after being super relaxed, you're gonna try to bring back focus. 
And what usually happens, you're gonna do too much and your opponent becomes tight, like super tight. And things starts to become easier for you. Losing the reins. It might cost you a couple matches. But if you love drama as much as I do, you gotta do it. Haters would say that it's much fixing, but I know for sure that is not the case. I do it unintentionally. It's just in my nature. So the goal is to bring him back to normal. Make few mistakes here and there so the guy starts to see the light at the end of the tunnel. He comes down and starts to play like 3 hours before. Yeah, those comebacks take time. Finish him. When we are even and at the end of the match, now you will need your best. Best shots and combinations. Now it's only up to your skill who is going to win this match. The only advantage you have that he is completely exhausted after all those ups and downs and you had everything planned. Use this advantage and your skill to win this match. Advertising. After you've completed your comeback, let people know about it. A few posts on social media will help. Now it's not just a regular win, which is forgotten next morning. It's a proper amazing comeback you can be proud of and people want to talk about. You might get more likes and subscribes than usual. By the way, if you like my content and a fun video like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. If not, that's okay, just hit that like button. So what we've learned today? Amazing comebacks take time. They take a lot of energy. They can get you in trouble, you might lose more matches. But they are fun. So think twice if you wanna do them or not. Thanks for watching and see you next time.